Hey, what's up? It's Christian Hermita here for Hermita Tech, and today I have an overview of Mac OS X Mountain Lion, the sneak peek available on Apple.com right now. And I have a little commentary for you guys, so let's get started. So right on the page you see it says inspired by iPad reimagined for Mac. So basically what this means is that um, Apple has taken the iOS 5 experience and combined it, solidified it into a solid experience across the desktop and the mobile platform. So we, we can see some of the, um, the beginning features that they're starting to introduce here, which is iCloud, iMessage, Reminders, Notes, Notification Center, Share Sheets, Twitter, Game Center, and AirPlay mirroring as long as the new Gatekeeper, which is basically the new security settings inside of Mac OS X Mountain Lion. So we can see first we have iCloud on the list. Now this is not a new surprise. It is currently available in Lion. Um, and now we have iMessages, which is one of the first new additions. And there is even a beta version that you can try out right now if you have a Mac. So basically this allows you to continue the conversation from your phone, your iPad, your iPod onto your Mac desktop um, and vice versa. You can start talking to your friends while you're sitting at your computer and you can go ahead and leave and go somewhere and still have that conversation. You can even um, FaceTime them, you can add content, you can add HD videos and you can add, add a whole bunch of types of attachments. And this allows for a nice streamlined experience and it really adds to the whole iMessage experience. Something I think a lot of iPhone users will really like. Next up we have Reminders straight out of iOS 5, straight out of Siri. Now Reminders is very popular with the integration of Siri. And now I bet you it will be even more popular on the desktop as many people are very forgetful like myself and they like to use and they like to use reminders um, on their iOS phone. Um, so, you know, this is great because it syncs across all your devices and it allows you to have one streamlined experience. Next up is Notes. Now, Notes is arguably one of the most popular iOS device, um, apps out there and it was popular since it was very first introduced. And now it has, you know, the, uh, the iCloud functionality in iOS 5 and it now is going to be added into the desktop. You can have a rich text format editing on your Mac. Basically by adding uh, photos, lists, you can format the text, add links, and you can even add the notes and pin them to your desktop itself. And once you're done editing them on your Mac, it'll be available on all your devices. This is very convenient and I definitely love this feature. I'm going to be using this all the time once it comes out. I love to use notes now. I'm going to even love to use it even more once it's on my Mac. Um, next is the Notification Center. So Notification Center is brand new in iOS 5 and it's now even brand new um, on this new desktop operating system here in Mountain Lion. And as far as I know, there is not really a Notification Center uh, management type of software built into any OS at this time, whether it's a Microsoft, Linux, or any other open source out there. Um, there's really nothing that's built in and centralized that works as well as a Notification Center. So this is the same experience experience you have your calendar game center app store messages everything that you need to know all in one convenient space you can swipe your finger or swipe your hand across your trackpad or mouse to reveal the center you can also have the notification banners pop up close them click on them for more information and it will even include third-party applications once they're supported into notification center the next one is share sheets now share sheets is not very interesting it's really just a um, Safari extension that allows you to easily share stuff and Twitter again another uh, integration thing that has been brought in with iOS 5 and now it's in Mountain Lion. Now the last thing that's really uh, game changing here is Game Center and I mean that with all pun intended and that's because with Game Center you can now um, play your favorite games from your iOS device onto your Mac. So you know, no longer do you have to wait around to play Words with Friends on your phone or on your iPad or something. Now you can play on your Mac. You can play anyone on Game Center as long as you have your Apple ID. And you can even play turn-based games or gyroscope kind of games. If you click on Game Center everywhere, you'll see that they have a racing game shown on the Mac Pro, a uh, MacBook Pro, and also playing on the iPad simultaneously. So you can race your friends. You can do all types of stuff. Um, you know, iOS right now is the most popular gaming for uh, for mobile gaming right now. And I think this will really change the game as far as desktop gaming goes. And for those naysayers that says, hey, you can't play stuff on the Mac. Well, now you have thousands of apps being developed for iOS and now it's on your Mac. 
So the last two features are not too exciting, but I think AirPlay mirroring will possibly change the game. Uh, right now it's on the iPad. I'm not sure how many people are using it, but now you can have it on your MacBook Air, on your iMac. And if you have the Apple TV, you can easily stream any content and share it wirelessly into your home network or, uh, you know, anywhere that has a Wi-Fi network that's using an Apple TV. And the last thing is a gatekeeper, which is just a new um, streamlined interface for uh, managing all your security and privacy settings in one space, just like on the iOS device platform. So I hope you enjoyed my review here of the, well not review, but overview of Mountain Lion. This is my commentary for it. Um, I really think that it will be a huge game changer in the desktop operating system market out there. I think a lot of people will probably switch over to Mac just based on the fact that many people are, you know, swear by iPhone hardcore users and they love the iOS experience. It's by far one of the most popular phones right now. And it is a very popular platform. So having this nice solidified experience will definitely get people thinking about going to Mac if they haven't already. I know I jumped on the bandwagon. Well, it wasn't a bandwagon, but I jumped on it about five years ago. And I can see 2012 being really good for Apple, especially with this new release of Mountain Lion. Well, let me know what you guys think about Mountain Lion. Comments, questions, concerns. And we will start a discussion here on YouTube. And as well, don't forget to subscribe to me for more content and also visit my my website hermitatech.com for more information till next time this is christian hermita your personal tech guy and i'll see you in the next video